everyone, it's Kate from The Fold Line. I am back this week to talk new sewing pattern releases for February. Um, we've got some amazing patterns to talk about this month. It was quite an exciting month of releases. There is a link to the blog post down below which has all the indie pattern releases from the last month and I've picked a few of my favourites to talk you through. So, I'm going to get cracking. The first pattern I've got to talk to you about is the Melliot Ivo Pants. Um, this comes in sizes 6 to 36. I loved these trousers. I think they're really interesting and I think they'll suit loads of people. So let's take a look at the line drawing and you can sort of see what's going on. So they're essentially a very easy make. So if you're a beginner maker, this is a really good pair of trousers to get going with. They are elasticated around the waist, which means fit wise it's a bit easier. They're slightly tapered down the leg. And then, then a really exciting thing is this amazing pocket detail. So the thing that I think in terms of the look of these trousers, they're completely flat fronted, which with an elasticated waist. So for anyone who has, um, myself included, because I'm always looking for this, a, a little bit of a tummy going on, this is a really flattering cut for that. Um, it also looks extremely like anyone who shops at Toast, it looks really like a pair of their trousers, which I actually own. So I'm definitely going to give these ones um, a go. So yes, the pockets on this. So it's got this really cool kind of um, pocket that is, well you can see it from the side there. Um, I really like that detail, I think it's really nice. It's really interesting. Um, I think these are a great pair of trousers for summer, they'll look amazing in linen. I just think everyone should make these. I think they're a really, really good pattern. And as I said before, if you haven't done trousers or you're sort of in the, you, ha you know, you haven't made trousers before or you're new to sewing, these could be a really good option. So up next, I have got the Civetta or Civetta blouse from Opian. This comes in sizes six to 20. 4 to 20, sorry. I absolutely love this. I think it's really interesting shape. I'm always looking for, I love blouses and shirts, so I think this is a really, and I just love this. So there are three variations with this blouse. I'll show you the line drawing so you can see. Um, there are two, there are three different sleeve options. So there's a flared sleeve, a sleeve with a really kind of big, deep cuff, and then one with a kind of much, narrower cuff. It also has three different necklines which I think is really nice and you can sort of mix and match what you you want it to look like. So there's um, just a sort of round collar, there's a granddad collar and then there's a classic shirt collar. So there's quite a lot going on in this and I think if you bought it you could get quite a lot of wear out of it because I think you can make them up in different guises and they'd look totally different. I haven't looked at the sample, so I've looked at, I was looking at them. I think this pattern, because they've made one of the samples in a cotton, which I think looks nice, but I personally think that this is suited to something with drape, like a viscose or a crepe. Um, it definitely looks nice in cotton, but I just think because of all that gathering, the floatiness of it, I think it, it's lost a bit in cotton. I think it looks, you can see on the sort of first, um, the pink version I'll show you, that is the one I think looks the most flattering. I also like how they styled it with a belt as well. I think it's just a lovely pattern. So if you're looking for something blousy as it's feeling a little bit spring-like now, this could be a really nice option. So next up we have got the Fibre Mood magazine edition 18. If you haven't seen it and got it yet, um, if anyone is new to Fibre Mood, it is a sewing pattern magazine that has about, um, it has about usually about 12 sewing patterns in it with different variations on each one. You have to trace them off, but there are this season, I mean, the summer one has just got really great stuff. Um, beautiful blouses, dresses. I'll show you a kind of um, some pictures so you can get an idea of what you're gonna get. But yeah, really gorgeous. And the great thing about Five Mood is they've got such a fantastic size range. So they come in sizes um, six to 30. 
There are also usually a couple of um, other projects in there, so knitting projects, craft projects, and quite often there are a couple of kids' patterns, which there are this time, which is really um, nice to have. And they're always, I think their kids' patterns are really great. So if you haven't got yours yet and you're unsure what you're gonna do, what you're gonna make, this is a really nice thing to buy because it's got beautiful pictures in the front to sort of inspire you and then the patterns at the back. Next up, we have got the Miller Waistcoat from Merchant and Mills. This comes in sizes six to 28. I absolutely love this. I think it's so great. Um, I haven't, I'm quite surprised actually there isn't a waistcoat pattern like this out there yet, but there isn't and I think it's a really fantastic one. So this is very much based looking at the shape and cut of it on a classic men's waistcoat. Um, it's, it's, it's a really nice make actually. I love how they've styled it here, see so they're wearing it just as a top and then you could also wear it with something underneath like a long sleeve top or a polo neck. I think it's actually a really useful item of clothing. I think you could get a lot of wear out of it, especially at the moment now, things are getting a little bit warmer. Um, I think you'd, you know, you could, it's nice to kind of layer things when it's getting a bit warmer. But this is just, a, I just thought it was a really great pattern. I can see lots of people have got really into it as well. It's kind of, everyone was quite excited about it and um, the shape of it's really nice as well. So yes, if you're looking for something a little bit different for spring, um, I think give this a go. I think this would be a really nice option. So next up, slightly different, um, we've got a pair of pajamas. So we've got the Simone set from Marvin Patterns. This comes in sizes eight to 20. Um, I really like this. There are quite a few pajama patterns out there, but there isn't anything like this with the really nice um, kind of cami top option. I love if I'll show you the line drawing so you can have a proper look, but I really like the, the double straps. I think it's a really nice detail and it kind of elevates a pair of pajamas. Um, as the weather is also getting warmer, as I was saying, um, this could be very useful for, for a summer PJ set. So the top is a lovely cami top. I actually think you could just make this and have this as a summer top as well. There are two variations. You can either have it with the little double strap that's in the picture or a single strap. Um, the pajama bottoms are very standard, um, elasticated waist. They've got pockets, which I personally really like in pajamas. And I also thought if you wanted, again, for summer, you could cut these off and make them into short var variations if you wanted, if you're going away on holiday, because we can now. Um, yeah, I just thought this was a really nice option and um, love a pair of pyjamas, let's be honest, who doesn't? So talking of all things spring and summer, I've got a really great dress. Um, we've got the olive dress from Untitled Thoughts. This comes in sizes um, do, 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 6 to 32. This one also has lots of bust cup options, which is fantastic. I love this dress. I think it's gorgeous. So it's quite simple in terms of the construction. Um, it's got a really nice low back, which I think is beautiful. Um, tie, tie at the um, shoulders. Bust darts, it's very kind of loose fitting. There are two variations, there's a belted version or not, um, and then a gathered panel like skirt with an optional ruffle. There are pockets as well, which is very much key to all dresses. I think this is really great. At the moment, obviously, this, if you live in the UK, this is too, is too cold to be wearing this, but, I think this would look really lovely with a polo neck underneath. And especially with the low back, if you want to wear a bra, I think that's a nice option. And I think it would also look really cute with a t-shirt underneath. So if you look at it and think, I love that, but the low back, no bra situation isn't for me, then I think you could have it layered with something else and it would work really well. So yeah, great dress for summer. Next up, we've got the sib, oh God, didn't, I do this every time, I don't read. Well, I read the name of the pattern, I don't say it out loud, and then I start talking and I look at it and I think I don't know how to pronounce this. 
Cebu top. It's spelled S-I-B-I-U. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. From itch to stitch, sorry, got we digress. Um, this comes in sizes 6 to 34. It is, I really love the shape of this. I think it's a really useful piece. I think you could, if you bought it, you'd make it over and over again. So, turtleneck, bat, bat wing, um, drop shoulder. It's just a cool shape. I really like the big, chunky, massive cuffs if you have a look at the line drawing. The second variation is really interesting as well with this panel that kind of goes down the arm. There's a really good options for colour blocking with this. You could have a play around with different fabrics. Um, it's just an interesting, it's like a really staple top, but it's got, it, it, for me, I love it when stuff patterns have interesting details on something quite simple and classic. And this is something that you'll never get bored of wearing, this sort of kind of cowl turtleneck shape. Um, it's, yeah, it's such a lovely pattern. I think you'd wear it loads. So, um, and she's actually colour blocked the um, these panels, which I think is really nice. And yeah, I think you get a lot of wear out of this. It's a good kind of wardrobe staple. Last but definitely not least, we've got the Gladys dress from Fibre Mood. This is from their last magazine and then they release each of the patterns separately. I just adored this dress and blouse and I thought I would share it with you because it is so close to all the stuff that is in the high street at the moment. So if you're looking for something that you want to sew that's kind of very close to high street stuff, this would be a really fantastic option. So the dress, it comes in sizes, did I say this? I can't remember, I don't think I did. It comes in sizes um, UK 4 to 32. So it's got a really nice big collar. The interesting thing about the collar is this big kind of swooping collar that we've seen quite a lot of. This is slightly different, it's more of a sailor style. So it's a straighter cut along there, it goes over the back. Um, it's got um, a drawstring waist and a ruffle, um, ruffled skirt panel. It's, you can see from the model and it sits sort of midi length, which again is very, very much the sort of cut length that a lot of the dresses are on the high street at the moment. Um, I like the styling that they've got it worn layered with a polo neck underneath, which I think is really nice. But I think, yeah, it's got little buttons down the front. It's just a good all round dress. I think you could get a lot of wear out of this. In terms of fabric for this, I would definitely think something like a viscose or a um, crepe. Even a crepe actually might be a bit thick for this. I think a viscose or rayon would be perfect for this. Yeah, so that is it for me. Um, I hope you're all well and don't forget to check out the blog post with all of the rest of the sewing patterns. We'll be back soon with another video. Bye!